Hi everyone, it's Vicki. Welcome to my channel and today I have empties. I have all the bag full and also just spilling out too. So let's just get started. <laughs> all right, so you know what? I'm going to start with this. It is the Daily Greens Oil-Free Gel Moisturizer from Pharmacy. I got this in a Boxy Charm a long time ago, and I really, really like this product. It's very gel like, though. It's, you know, wet and stuff. There's just a tiny bit in there, and I'm going to use that tomorrow. So I'm going to consider it empty because, it, you know, I don't want to hang on till, till the next empties. But yeah, I really did like this. It felt really good on my skin. My skin felt really good. So that might be something I might even consider repurchasing. All right, next is in the dog food line. And this is Nature's Recipe, which is, this is what Minnie ate when she came to us. We feed blue buffalo, but this is what she ate. And um, honestly, now we feed both. We have one bowl of one of the blue buffalo, and we have one bowl of Nature's Recipe. Plus, they get fresh pet at night. But uh, this is the salmon, sweet potato, and pumpkin recipe, grain-free. Although I'm reading that older dogs don't really necessarily have to have grain free and that's why I because I used to do grain free and dehydrated raw and all kinds of stuff. But anyway, the long and short of it is this is the dog's second choice. The other dog food, the blue buffalo, looks just like this only but it has some little black pellets in there, some dark brown or whatever. And a lot they'll spit those out. But yeah, but they do prefer this over the or the, they do prefer the blue buffalo over this, and this is usually not eaten until that one's pretty empty. But that's just their taste. <laughs> All right, so next are these Thin Addictives from Costco, and they are a cranberry almond thin cookie. They're kind of like a biscotti that's been sliced really thin, but maybe bigger, and uh, yeah. You know, honestly, you're paying for the packaging with these because there are three cookies per pack and there's a bunch of packs in here. Okay, 25 packages of, of three cookies. If you took all those cookies out, you aren't going to have very much because they are super thin. That's what they are. But they are tasty and crunchy and nice with coffee or tea. Uh, they're a dry cookie. They're not, it's nothing with frosting or anything like that. All right, so next is from Aldi's. Now, one time I had a pizza at Aldi's, a frozen pizza, because I like to keep a frozen pizza in the um, freezer, even though we don't eat that that often, but I like to have one some night when, wow, it's just really gotten dark outside all of a sudden. Anyway, um, and it was uh, either a four cheese, five cheese, something, I don't know what, I can't remember, and it was so good, and I was just, you know, taken away by that. We have a pizza stone that we just keep in our oven and we cook pizza on it. And Jerry likes thin, I like a little thicker. But I thought, well, maybe this was it. Maybe it was a rising crust. I couldn't remember the name. But um, yeah, so we made this one and it's okay. I, it isn't that one though. I still haven't figured out what pizza it was I bought that one time that we liked so much. All right. All right, so next, this is from, ooh, it's got one inside of it, so I have to be careful here. All right, so I got this from Costco, and it is a blueberry almond crunch cereal, and it says it's two pounds, although it didn't seem like much when I got it out of the bags and into my container, I guess, it, but uh, yeah, but it's good. I liked it. It has dried blueberries in it. I think I would prefer though just to add fresh blueberries, but yeah, I liked it. It says no sugar added, and there's the calories on this. Um, blueberry almond crunch is 250, and with uh, skim milk is 290, and that is for one cup. Who eats one cup? Have you ever measured out one cup of cereal? It's not very much. <laughs> All right, but anyway, it was good. It was good. I don't remember how much it cost, but it just didn't seem to last very long. I don't know. All right, so next is Pillsbury Chocolate Fudge. These were pretty good. I always have, I think I said this in my last empties video, I always keep a brownie mix in my cupboard, you know, in my pantry, just for last minute 
someone's coming over or something like that. So I always keep that in there. I think I got that at Aldi or Dollar Tree. I don't know. I, I think Aldi. But anyway, and they were good. I like them. I like pretty much straight uh, brownie mixes and and I have made brownies from scratch it's not a big deal I could do that too this just makes it really easy quick and it, it, it takes the traditional you know oil water and eggs to, to make it happen um, what's I gonna say oh I like the traditional ones when you start putting more chocolate in like chocolate chips and stuff that's just too much for me I usually do add walnuts although pecans are my favorite nut and I like pecans in it but I don't know there's something about walnuts in a brownie all right, so next two items are from the German stuff at uh, the German selection at Aldi. And I just recently did an Aldi haul where I got these. And when I got these, I had these, uh, what do you call these, Doppelino, the little bitty sandwich cookies with a little bit of chocolate in them. They also had lemon and I think they had one more flavor, probably vanilla. But anyway, I went with the chocolate. It says crispy chocolate flavored cookies filled with cream filling. The cookies didn't taste like chocolate, actually. They tasted like vanilla cookies because that's what they were. But the inside filling was chocolate. Kind of like the reverse Oreo, only better. Um, and I really liked these in the try when we when I first taste tested them. And, and they're good. And then I, I think I thought these were too sweet when I taste tested them. The coconut spritz shortbread cookies. But... Now that they've been around and I've been munching on them for a while, oh, I much prefer these, <laughs> especially for the calorie count. I mean, you get a big old, very nice cookie, and th these are have a lot more calories than you think. Yeah, I think you get more bang for your calorie buck on those. Plus, I just like them. All right, now this is something from, that was from Costco, and it was from a long time ago, but I have seen it... Um, since I think they get it in sometimes I think it's around holidays and it's these little creme brulees and they're in a little glass container that's the only reason I have this box even though it's from years ago is because I had those glass containers in there trying to figure out what to do with them now I just put them in my cupboard and I use them you know like melting butter in the microwave or something um but they were good they were good uh some people at my house really loved them but we really didn't have you know, we didn't have the tool that you could really use to make it, you know, like a a, creme, a real creme brulee, like in a restaurant. You know, they get that real good uh, candy on there. I mean, you can use the broiler, I think is what we did, but or the oven. I can't remember how we did it. Yeah, sugar crystals we put on there. Should not be completely melted, yeah. It, they were good, but they don't compare to, like, what I've had on, like, Cruise ships is in, in restaurants in terms of okay this is falling in terms of the top the creme part though was very good it's you know creme brulee how can you go wrong all right so next is red lobster honey butter biscuit mix now there should be two of these yes there's the cheddar bay biscuit mix and the honey butter biscuit mix <laughs> I sent my hubby to get this for a recipe to make a what do you call it? You call it a chicken pot pie casserole that I saw on TikTok. And he came home with the honey butter, which is the wrong one. We used it, couldn't really tell, and I came home with two of these. And then we made them, and, and they, they were pretty good. And then finally I got these <laughs> and made it a second time much later. But yeah, both of them, the biscuits are good. They're pretty crumbly, but they are definitely good. And yeah, I, I definitely think they're good. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. Yeah. And they, I don't know, that recipe to me is a little goopy, so I don't know. All right, so next we got Sweetums Grapes. Was there any other? Maybe it was in the last um, empties I did, but I've had like, I don't know how many different grapes. Uh, I started out with all these candy cotton grapes last year, these green grapes, and then got two different ones from Costco. And these are the Sweetums. And these were delicious. Yes, that's why I saved this. There was one more we got that wasn't as good. But yeah, these were really good and juicy. And yeah, love them. <laughs> you know, for a long time I wouldn't buy green grapes because they're often so sour. I always brought the, bought the red flame ones. But now that they've come out with these ones that they call candy, um, sweetums. What did they, these had another name. Yeah, oh yeah, these are their cotton candy. That's what they are, the cotton candy. 
Oh wait, no, these are two different grapes. I take that back. I'm getting all confused. Remember me saying that there were two? <laughs> there was the original one, cotton candy. Or yeah. And then we got the sweet. We got then we got these. The original cotton candy from Aldi. Can't speak tonight. And then we got these cotton candy from Costco. And then we got the Sweetums. And these cotton candy from Costco were the very best. Even better than Aldi. And they had they were huge and juicy. They were great. And they I know this sounds weird, but they held their cold really well. I like a cold grape. And you know, sometimes you put grapes out, they just get to room temperature really fast. Their grapes are okay at room temperature, but they're better cold. <laughs> Who agrees? Comment down below <laughs> if you know what I'm talking about. All right, so I've had these before on my empties, I'm sure. This package looks different, so that's why I included it. But I'm pretty sure I've had Diane's where they're, they're half a banana. They call it, like, sometimes they call them baby bananas, but they're really a banana cut in half, dipped in chocolate. These happen to be the dark chocolate ones. And, um, yeah, I, the first bite, you can tell they're dark chocolate. After that, they really don't taste much different than a milk chocolate because the chocolate layer, as you can see, is pretty thin. So, yeah, I like frozen bananas. All right, so the next item is something, I don't know why I didn't buy this a long time ago, but it's making, it will make life so much easier, especially because I started counting calories again, and, you know, I was baking, and I got a kitchen scale. I got this one because not only did it have good remarks about it, but it was just seemed to be simple. And basically, I put a dish on it or whatever, and then I hit zero, which will get it down to what's called a tear weight, you know, so that when you weigh something, you're not weighing the packaging on it. And uh, then you can put whatever it is you're weighing on your little dish paper plate or regular plate whatever this does you hit zero and it goes to zero put your stuff on there and then you're not including the dish as part of the weight so it's really nice and then the units will switch it between metric and what is ours called imperial or I forget whatever ours is called <laughs> to me it's just normal <laughs> <laughs> All right, so speaking of fresh pet, I may have included this before, but I included it because I had the dry dog food and because I wanted to tell you that my friend that I sometimes go to the movies with and take shopping or two appointments, uh, she started getting fresh pet too, but she got the shredded kind and I've never got that for mine. These are logs of it that you chop up. Not in that big a thing though. <laughs> These little dogs would choke on that. But, you know, this is made out of... Um, Chicken, meat, and the livers, spinach, potatoes, eggs, and fatty acids, it says. So the dogs, um, if we, we pour a little low-sodium chicken broth on it, and they like it. Without the chicken broth, they don't always like it. It just depends. we got a picky eater in the house, and because she's gotten some special stuff, now everyone is a connoisseur. Okay, so the last item on my haul is a repurchase, but I never had it on a empties video because I think I got it in 2017, so I wasn't doing any empties videos. I gotta back up, but I gotta make sure there's no dog behind me <laughs> before I do. I got so used to having to watch out for Eddie that there's never a dog behind me, but I just can't help it, help myself. Anyway, I got <laughs> another Squirrel Buster Plus. This is like the wah, of bird feeders. Yes. Look at the poor squirrel, squirrel crying because he can't get in it. Yes, this is the holy grail of bird feeders. It comes with this ring that you can put on the bottom, which you, of course, would, <laughs> um, so that they, the birds can, you know, rest on it and, and eat the seeds. And... When they're on it, it's fine, but when a squirrel gets on it, it pulls down and closes it, and the squirrel cannot get to the seeds. And you lift up the top. You have to kind of unscrew and lift up the top to fill it. Now, mine has a ring that goes right here. I, I bought an accessory, and it's a, 
like a baffle that goes there that keeps the rain off of the birds or off of the seeds or whatever. Really, um, your seeds shouldn't get too wet, but I feed with opened seeds with just the um, sunflower, hold sunflowers not in a shell. So they can get wet when we have these monsoon, you know, in Florida. So they can definitely get wet. Um, so that's nice. Plus it protects the birds a little bit. Not that we have a lot of problem with predators, but we could. And uh, we have, I'm sure, because I've seen some ruffled feathers out in the ground. So it had to be something. But um, yeah, so I got the accessory to it when I bought the first one of these. But what happened is... It got all messed up and from squirrels jumping on it, I guess, and it just wouldn't open back up. And I took it apart to try to fix it, lost some of the parts. So I haven't had one of these for years. I've been using the little ones, the mini ones. They're all right, but I have to fill them up a lot. And some of the birds don't like landing on those. So I went ahead and got one of these. Now, I'm just going to tell you right now, I'll just admit it. You don't have to go look it up on Amazon. I'll put a link to below, though. Because I have this brand, this broom brand, Brome Broom, I don't know what it is, Broom Bird Care. It's a Canadian brand, and they make all these squirrel busters. And really, they're the only ones that work that I've tried. And I've tried quite a few anti-squirrel before I finally bit the bullet and bought them. Because this thing right here is $124. Yeah, it holds a lot of seed. It holds too much seed because then it's too heavy for me to deal with it. But yeah, it holds um, sunflower, safflower, mixed seeds. Yeah, it's not a peanut feeder. I have one of those as well, but I don't have the box for it, which I just replaced. Same thing, had an old one, tried cleaning it, had issues, and just ended up buying a new one about, oh, August. I bought it in August. I should have shown that one, I guess. But one thing about Broom is I really didn't have to go buy another one because they will send parts. They've sent parts before when the birds knocked over the small ones and bent it. They'll send parts. And I talked to them today. They're sending parts from my other two. They said you should be able to get them back working again. And it'd be nice to have two because I can have one cleaned and ready to go so I can clean them every week because I don't want to pass any disease. And the way it is now when I, I, I want to wash it, it takes it out of rotation for like two days so it'll be nice to have a backup or maybe add some more back to the backyard instead of just the front yard but yeah the other one that I really like and I don't maybe I'll pop a picture right there is the peanut feeder or actually they call it the nut feeder or they used to call it the nut feeder maybe they I know they updated it so my two aren't exactly alike but anyway and it is about $88 on Amazon and then the mini or it's not really mini it's the legacy one that I have that's smaller is they're like $66 each but you can buy a two pack of these and then that'll save you money if you buy two at a time but yeah it is an expensive bird feeder but they are high quality they do work against squirrels and they will send you replacement parts for free if anything needs to be replaced and I'm telling you, Florida does a number on stuff that's left outside. And uh, yeah, so I went through lots of bird feeders, more than $124 worth of bird feeders before Jerry gave me this one for Christmas one time. So those are my items. Thanks a lot for watching the video. I hope you'll subscribe to the channel if you're not already. And give the video a thumbs up. We'd love to have you. Thank you.